Uh, this is not something new. I think I've um, maintained several times that this cancel culture is something that I've been, uh, you know, a victim of for a long time now. You would remember that in 2015, uh, you know, I'd written this uh, piece. It was a very innocuous piece uh, at the height of that award wapsi drama that was going on in the country. Uh, I, I said, as the Sahitya Academy Award winner myself, why I do not wish to return my award and I found that a very, very politically motivated campaign. And I wrote that and I forgot all about it. And a few months later was the Bangalore Literature Festival that I had founded, uh, you know, putting a lot of my own money and effort and interest in 2012. Uh, and so many of these uh, liberal, uh, you know, writers, eminent ones uh, in the country, um, you know, took umbrage at that article. And there was this whisper campaign that went across the country saying, oh, this is a right wing festival. The director of the festival is a fascist. So we should not go and associate with it. And so they did an invitation wapsi on me and uh, most of them and, you know, em very eminent journalists, uh, you know, also in the city, uh, they used to put out tweets saying, watch out this space tomorrow morning, five more people are going to, uh, uh, you know, withdraw from the festival and so on. And the issue snowballed to such an extent that I had to resign uh, from the festival that I founded. <laughs> so if, if they were, they were turning down the invitation, wasn't that simply good riddance? <laughs> no, then, you know, the, 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 the uh, everyone, the, the platform needs to be neutral. You need to have voices from, uh, you know, all spectrums, one entire spectrum withdraws itself. And then confirmation bias comes in saying, see, we always told you it's always one ideological tilt, which is uh, promoted in the festival. So you exit and then make space for something that you'd want uh, you know, a confirmation for. So I said, it's rather, uh, you know, I, and I, this is not a one-time um, problem. Year after year, I have to deal with these, uh, you know, uh, very, very uh, visceral kind of uh, attitude. So it's best to just leave it. I think if uh, the, I'd written in that piece to, uh, while uh, resigning that, if it is a choice between my freedom of expression as uh, an author, historian and the roles of a festival director, I'd rather choose the first than the second just to make a few people happy. So I think these things keep happening. We, we wrongly, I think, hyphenate left liberal. I think there's nothing liberal about the left either in India or worldwide. Uh, it's always my way or the highway. Anybody who does not uh, conform to your viewpoint is immediately cancelled. And the uh, modus operandi is very, very similar. It's a toolkit uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of <laughs> set of uh, things to do. You will discredit the person. Uh, you uh, cast aspersions, slanderous campaigns, bring in politics and say, yeah, I'm, you're, this person must be funded by uh, some political party or some association or whatever else without any evidence. You can do anything and then discredit your work, uh, pull out holes in that. So all of that. So this India Today conclave too, uh, I thought between the two guests, uh, Dr. Tharoor, whom I deeply admire and respect, and uh, me, I think we had a very healthy exchange of ideas. We agreed to disagree and uh, the respect was mutual. Uh, and I really did not see any need for people across the country and even outside to take so much umbrage at uh, some of the things I said, which was, uh, what was it? It was basically that let's, as you said, let's accept the truth as it is. If there have been uh, bloody invasions, if there have been um, uh, genocides in this country, let's acknowledge that. Let's talk about all parts of the country. India is not just Delhi. So if you need to talk about South India, about Northeast India, let's talk about also stories of valor, of uh, heroism, not with some uh, need to be jingoistic, but also I mean, um, Dr. Tharoor said history is a tool for nation building. A part of nation building is also respect for your nation and feeling that sense of pride. Uh, otherwise, what nation do you build? So uh, all these elements, but what it was a very, and then of course, discussion on the freedom movement, the idea of India, what it meant from the perspective of Mahatma Gandhi, Nehru, Savarkar, all of them, Ambedkar, the usual discussions. It was a very nice, uh, you know, invigorating kind of a discussion. Little did I know, I should have guessed that this should have happened because the fort walls were being banged on of uh, entrenched, uh, you know, people for, uh, for, for decades. So naturally, the, the, the repercussions began.
deeply these ideological strands are entrenched particularly in the humanities and social sciences and historical studies uh, and a whole ge- new generation uh, is churned out with the same kind of beliefs the same kind of trope that is uh, you know j- jargons that are churned out so it's very difficult for them to uh, you know come out of that and institutionally there has to be a change which has sadly not yet happened uh, unless that happens uh, Uh, at an institutional and governmental level uh, a lot of this would continue to fester and from arun shori to sitaram goyal to all the others who put out another view point the attacks are very similar so as i said i am a very small fry in this long list of victims uh, so we'll see i'm i'm told last week uh, or couple of days back sanjeev sanyal's uh, uh, you know wikipedia page was vandalized and there was a hit job done by him by that uh, leftist rag called caravan where uh, they 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 questioned him they can't question him as an economist so they say he's not even a trained historian why does he write all this what's his sources fine it's a good critique of someone's work uh, fine but we know caravan cannot be an objective critic of anything <laughs> so uh, so i'm told uh, somebody put it out openly uh, on twitter that currently there are two academicians somebody in the uk someone in the us who are working at uh, doing a hit job on me next and a lot of uh, money is also being exchanged to write uh, to do this on wikipedia to also uh, write articles starting now it will start coming where they'll do all of this uh, you know question my credentials bring out some innocuous thing in my books and say uh you know he's not a this is wrong this is a, you know self referencing and this whole peer review business where you know i quote you then you quote me and then we all form a nice clique of uh, you know a cozy club of, of each one scratching one another's backs so all of that will be brought out and uh, and so openly i'm saying i know your game i know what you're going to do so it's not going to surprise me or uh, put me down if that's what you think you can achieve uh, whoever you are wherever you are whatever you're doing we will continue because i think truth is on our side yes. and anybody who works for the civilizational greatness and civilizational uh, you know uthan of this country i don't think they need to fear any anybody least of all these people who have the least of intelligence 